going on guys it's your average consumer and today i'm going to be doing a comparison of the iphone 5's camera to the htc one s camera and this can be a bit of a comparison between most of the one s series cameras because they're pretty much the same but um let's not waste any time let's get right into it Alright guys, we saw for a second the huge video quality gap in the intro between the two front facing cameras, but that won't be the same for the rear ones. We have the iPhone 5 on the right and the HTC One S on the left. They both have amazing 8 megapixel rear cameras, and the main difference that can be found between the two is that the HTC One S seems to have more vibrant colors than the iPhone 5. And when comparing some of the brighter colors, like the orange on this shop, the iPhone 5 seems to have seems to be a little washed out in comparison to the 1S. And so that just makes the 1S stand out a bit more to me. Some may see this as a flaw of the 1S though, as they might say the colors might be a bit more exaggerated. Here we have some indoor shots without the best lighting since we won't always get lucky with a bunch of sunlight or indoor lighting. In my opinion, the iPhone 5 performed better in some of the darker areas as it showed more attention to detail than the 1S could produce. Although, I still like the kind of color we were getting from the 1S, minus some of the white areas, like on this little bike seat and tires, since they seem to be a bit fuzzy and produce sort of a ghost effect in comparison to what the iPhone 5 produced. Also, something to note with the iPhone 5 is that it has much better image stabilization, which means you won't, get to see, you won't see as much camera shaking after you finish recording your video. And this could be very helpful when you're taking outdoor shots or walking around with the phone just like I am here. And I think that's a great bonus that the iPhone 5 has over the 1S. And here we have the front facing camera. As I said before, there's a huge gap in quality you see here. The iPhone 5's front facing camera is quite respectable in regard to the kind of quality you'll get from it. While the 1S will simply do what it's there to. As you can see in this clip, the 1S has a harder time dealing with the sunlight than the iPhone 5 does, and that causes the clip to get very dark whenever there's light facing it. The 1S's camera won't impress anyone, but it will simply get the job done by showing you your face clearly enough to video chat or even use it as a mirror. Now we'll take a look at the difference between a few still shots. Up first is the 1S, and the first thing you'll notice is that it's in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which basically means it's in a widescreen layout like your HD TV, while the iPhone pictures come out in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, which is like a standard television, but more on that later. Just like the video shots, I found that I like the way the 1S performs more in outdoor settings and the iPhone more indoors. But if you're going to change a few of the settings on the 1S, you could get a close to or better shot than the iPhone does indoors as well. And that leads me to my next topic. HTC does phenomenal work when it comes to the camera software. As you can see me play with my settings a bit here, you can see that there's a ton of options to choose from. From resolution, to exposure, to timers, to white balance, and so on and so on. Unfortunately, I don't think the average consumer will care to jump into all those settings, but luckily it takes great pictures without you having to change anything. And this alone gives the 1S a huge leg up over the iPhone. As you can see here, these settings are all the iPhone's camera offers, as well as your options for flash. The camera on the iPhone offers almost no real settings, so customization is very limited here which is very Apple-esque. Luckily for us, like most of Apple's products, it just works. So you don't really have to worry too much about those settings in order to take good pictures or video. Now to show you how fast they take pictures. That was pretty fast in my opinion. The speed that HTC's One Series takes pictures has always been a big selling point but check out the iPhone 5. Even faster, right? I was very impressed that the iPhone 5 was so much faster than the 1S with single shots, but it doesn't hold a candle to this. And 
that bird shop captured 20 pictures in that short amount of time very very fast and that pretty much wraps up my comparison of the cameras of the iphone 5 and the htc 1s i believe the camera on the 1s is pretty similar to that of the other one series phones in htc's lineup overall they are both great cameras with different strengths depending on the situation luckily for the one phones they have settings that can combat unappealing situations or even make use of them to make a good shot better. Without the use of settings though, they are both great cameras and I'm sure the average consumer would be more than thrilled with the quality of either of them. Alright guys, and I hope you enjoyed this comparison. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, this is your average consumer. Until the next video, peace.